All right, YouTube, I'm still on Piqua. I'm gonna film this school. I went by it earlier on the bike path. It's a really beautiful old school. Bennett Junior High. This building was probably built in the 1910s, 1920s, 1930s. And when you see a lot of our, our current school architecture, how cheaply they're built, this puts the these new schools to shame because at least this right here, at least you have some carvings and a really good solid structure. Like you hear these scams that they say, oh well, these old schools are not modern enough and that's a bunch of crap because for one thing, in a state like Ohio and other places, there's not as many students in the schools as there used to be because people aren't having as many kids as they used to. So to use the excuse to tear down a beautiful old school like this, oh, we need more modern technology, you're full of crap. Because you could always repurpose a school like this. I went by the school earlier, saw the back part of it from a bike path, and I wanted to get some footage of this school right here. Beautiful school building right here, and uh, hopefully... This town's a little bit more politically conservative, so if they ever try and try something, they're gonna get some pushback from this right here. But you can see the inside of it a little bit right here, but hopefully the residents will, hopefully the school board is not stupid enough to try and destroy the history up here, but you never know with the way these bureaucrats of these schools <clears throat> the way they think, unfortunately. But it's a beautiful old school, and like I said, you just don't see them that much anymore. And here's another thing, YouTube stuff. They try and debunk, they say, well, this ain't handicap accessible. Well, there you go, it's handicap accessible, an elevator right there. That's another con that they use to try and tear down these old school buildings because of the Americans with Disabilities Act. You know, and 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 I and I know people that are, you know, disabled in that, but but to use that scam, you know, to try and tear down a school is really a tragedy, but you don't see schools made like this anymore, YouTube, you really don't. And I hope that this school will remain here for a, a long time. It's a perfectly fine school right here. No reason for them to ever try anything to this school. Beautiful school. There's the gym right there. Look at the unique carvings and the old features of the old wood. And you, you, you know, you take a look at your schools and any more of these new schools. You don't see any carvings or anything that's unique by that. It's all cheap, 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 cheap. Cheaply built, you know, block and mortar. Although, you know, this is made out of brick, but this thing's made to last a lifetime right here. And uh, beautiful video right here. And I wonder, and you know, I'm going to try and show more of these older schools when I get a chance to, but in a lot of cities, the construction mafia, as I've already said before, they try and tear these old schools under the guise that we need more modern facilities. Bull crap. You can repurpose a beautiful old school like this. It's late afternoon. Saturday around 3.57 right here. So I'm making this video. I'm going to get ready to head home soon because it's going to... I rode up here. It's about a 30 mile bike ride. As I said before, this town's about 30 miles north of, of Dayton and uh, and I'm going to and I'm going to work on trying to get some more good footage right here but yeah, it's a beautiful old school and I hope that they protect it right here and uh, this gate for the steps has clearly been closed off I don't know what this used to be but 
get a little bit of drip from the air conditioner. You hear the other side of the gym, as I said before, look at the unique architecture right there. The carbons, the wood. You don't find that in these modern schools, people. So, there is value in historical significance in these old schools, and I hope that they protect this one for a long time to come, because it's, it is worthy of that. And let's make sure this beautiful old school is protected right here. I know we can make it happen. At Pequa City Schools, Ohio, local report card, excellent district rating. So their schools are in pretty good shape up here, but sometimes you gotta ask the students, though, and the parents what's really going on, because you can't always believe that when you see that, because there is a propaganda machine that is unfortunately associated with schools. Unfortunately. But yeah, beautiful old school. Nice mulch and trees around the landscaping right here. And a pretty nice school. And uh, all right, YouTube, that's it. We're signing off from Bennett Junior High on South Main Street on Main Street near South Street in the south part of Piqua.